What's going on guys? Astro with Hidden Profits Crypto here. Before we get the video started as usual, I want to give a huge thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Uh, we have quite a few new subs, so welcome everybody. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and joined the family yet, make sure to do so. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date. Your guys' support keeps me motivated to make these videos. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Uh, today we are going to do a much needed video. I uh, should have had it out a while ago, but I have just been extremely busy. Um, been getting into 3D printing and that. Uh, more on something I got going on with that a little bit later. Uh, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on Duino coin and how you can add extra like Arduino Unos or Arduino Nanos or just any board in general uh, that you want to add. This is going to be a tutorial of how you can add those. Um, without deleting your resources uh, file for your miner and redoing it. Uh, you're going to just go into the config file and we're going to adjust a few things. Um, and then that's basically it. Uh, it's not too hard. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and hop over to the phone. Uh, mind where the miner's at. It's just in a random corner of my room. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, but I do plan on expanding and um, growing the miner a bit here in the future uh, i have been having some issues with it lately uh so it hasn't really been running uh fully but uh anyways let's go ahead and just hop over and i'll show you guys what i got going on <clears throat> all right so here we are over by the miner hopefully the audio isn't going to be too terrible on this i don't have any sound shit on the wall so it might echo a little bit but either way uh, we'll quickly go over this. I just wanted to show you guys the setup. Um, these are my four boards here in this Raspberry Pi uh, cluster case. Ignore this uh, and that back there. That's the Skycoin miner, uh, which I do have a video um, in the works, but I wanted to just wait until I at least get a first month's payout uh, before I do that. Anyways, this isn't about that. Uh, so I have these four uh, Arduino Unos uh, going to this splitter. And then the splitter just runs to the computer. And then I also have this Nano here. Uh, I have more of these, but I don't have enough USB ports. I gotta get more splitters. Um, so, I, like I said, I do plan on um, expanding this and making you know the farm a lot bigger. But if you guys want to see like just like a huge Duino farm uh, or you know huge Duino miner or whatever. Um, leave a comment below, make sure to subscribe so you can see it. I do want to make, I, I think you can run like up to 50 or something like that. So that would be really cool to have just a bunch. But, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and hop over to the computer and I will show you guys how you can edit the config file and add, uh, any extra boards or whatever you may have. All right. So here we are over at the computer. Now, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open your file explorer and go to wherever you have the folder saved. I have mine saved in the downloads folder uh, and extracted there. So that's where I'm going to go. Um, so I also want to mention this is going to be for however many boards you have. So make sure you know which uh, like what the port is. Uh, so if it's like com something or, you know, whatever it might be, uh, make sure you have that ahead of time. Uh, so you're going to want to go all the way into the Duino coin folder and then go into the AVR resources folder and then go to minor config. You're going to open that file with uh, the notepad. And then when you do that, uh, you should see something similar to this. Um, so you can get the same results by actually deleting that whole resources file. And then when you run the miner again, it'll reset this up. But this is a much easier and simple way um, without having to do all of that. So when you have um, the right ports that you want to add, you're going to come up here, add a comma, and then type in, you know, if say my next board would be COM8, I would type in COM8 and then add, you know, so on and so on. And then when you're done, you're going to go up to file and then just save the file. Um, so that's it. I wouldn't change the name, literally just save it exactly how it is. Uh, and then you can go ahead and close it. Obviously, I'm not going to save it because I don't actually have uh, another board, um, but uh, so once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close this out um, because you're done with it. And then we're going to go ahead and go down to the search bar and type in CMD to get open our command prompt. So now we're going to just go into our AVR miner or we're going to run our script. So we're going to CD into uh, wherever your directory 
uh, or where, sorry, wherever your file is in your directory. So uh, CD downloads and then CD Duino coin uh, 2.4.5 for me. And I got to do that twice. And then uh, run the script. So PY uh, space AVR underscore minor dot PY. And then go ahead and hit enter. And um, when you hit enter, it should show up everything and it should show all of the ports um, for all the boards that you have connected. Um, so like I said, mine's a little screwed up. Uh, I still got to figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, you might see it pop up. It'll have like a server error. I don't know what the issue is, but I am going to get it figured out. Um, uh, but anyways, I hope this was a quick and easy tutorial to show you guys how to add, uh, boards pretty simply. Uh, it's, it's not hard at all. So another thing I wanted to mention is these keychains that I've been making. Uh, I recently got a 3d printer and so I designed these, uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin. I have a safe moon as well but just little 3D printing keychains. Um, I was planning on selling them, but I decided not to. So uh, if you guys would like one, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like on the video and comment, and I'll be picking a few people uh, to go ahead and send a couple of these to. So if you want a keychain, uh, just go ahead, subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment, let me know which one you want. And if you're picked, uh, then I'll be in touch. All right. Anyways, guys, it's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you learned something and this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like down below. Also, make sure to leave your comment and subscribe and tick the notification bell uh, if you guys want to get a chance at uh, getting one of those keychains. If you're interested, I know it's not much, just a little something uh, to give back. Uh, also, uh, it is going to be U.S. only. So any of my EU or anywhere else, guys, uh, I'm sorry. But uh, this giveaway is going to be just U.S. I will do more giveaways in the future. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for those. Uh, anyways, I really do appreciate the support. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace.